an efficient developer workflow, and time management. You can end the video right now. What the hell is even that? Tiny disclaimer, productivity systems are super personal, so what works for me may not work for you. So take what I'm saying and have your own spin to it. All right, so what does developer workflow mean? If you peel back all the layers, a software developer is just a glorified text editor. So you have to be really good at getting around your computer. So if that means you have to go from your editor to your browser to your terminal and back to your editor and look for a file that you know exists, at worst, that process should take a couple of seconds and cost no mental overhead. You want to spend most of your energy producing and reading code. So you don't want something like getting around your computer or navigating and interacting with your terminal to cause you any stress. Now, your workflow may vary depending on your operating system and what tech stack you're using, but in general, I just have three simple recommendations. Learn keyboard shortcuts. Keeping your hands on the keyboard is not some myth. It actually improves your productivity. That leads to my second point. Integrate Vim key bindings into your editor of choice, regardless of how you feel about Vim. Knowing basic Vim motions can really speed up your development process. Copying information over, generating new lines of code, or just navigating through a really large file is made so much easier with just a few basic Vim commands. And finally, use some sort of tiling window manager, because at any given point you have three windows open but sometimes you need even more. So it's best to have these organized so you know exactly where they are with little to no mental overhead in getting to them. Now, a lot of people might argue that this is a waste of time, but my take is really simple. You're gonna be using these tools over a 40 year career. So you wanna save time when you can. Speaking of time, that brings me to my second point, a time management system. I know, I know, deep work is all the rage right now. Four hours, no breaks, stay highly productive, get everything done. But again, productivity systems are very personal and deep work just doesn't work for me. How dare you? What I do is a combination of deep work and the Pomodoro system, which if you don't know what the Pomodoro system is, it's working for 25 minutes and then taking a five minute break at the end and continually repeating that till your work is done. What I do differently is that during my five minute break, I don't just grab my phone. I only let myself do three things, which are going to the toilet, refilling my water and stretching. And these are very intentional activities because getting some water doesn't distract me the same way my phone would. So I can keep thinking about my last programming problem sort of in the back burner of my brain. And generally speaking, sitting down non-stop for hours on end isn't the healthiest for you. So you want to get up and stretch when you can. And finally, a bonus tip, mindset. Whenever I'm doing any kind of work, whether it's coding, going to the gym, doing my taxes, I always think to myself that this is going to be fun. And I try to make the process as fun as I can, whether if that's by listening to music, gamifying it, or creating a narrative in my head, I want to make sure whatever I'm doing is fun, because if you have to do something, you may as well enjoy it. Thank you for your time. I'm Big Box.